Hello guys, uh, you all know that we have already made a video on the CSS strategy for June 2019. But in that video, we didn't clarify or we didn't explore that much about the topics, right? Means uh, what you have to do specifically for inorganic, organic and physical part. So in this video, I'm going to talk about specifically inorganic part. Okay, so means basically our target is CSIR. June 2019 and in this video we are going to talk about particularly inorganic part we will make a separate video on organic as well as physical and we will also talk about which book we have to follow and which book I personally followed now why I am talking about myself because I cracked this CSR in my first attempt right and my all India rank was 46 so when I got my CSR, then uh, the strategy before that, uh, what I uh, means, how I applied myself, I basically focused on one part, which is mainly on one part. Obviously, I read physical as well as organic, but I want to give my more focus on inorganic chemistry. Okay, so if we basically, first of all, we talk about inorganic, which is the most important topic. Okay, means our main topics which we should study or we should give some more importance on that particular topic so these topics must be one is our like organometallics chemistry okay that second is coordination third one is main group main group elements or D and F block also and the fourth one will be our bio inorganic bio inorganic chemistry and the fifth one uh, I will talk about means in specific words if I talk then term symbol so these are the five five things whenever you are going for means whenever you want to prepare for inorganic then first always start with organometallic chemistry now why organometallic chemistry now I will I'm going to give you the stats why I am focused mainly on organometallic chemistry okay so uh, if I talk about organometallic chemistry then if you means if you get to know about its weightage in CSIR then uh, it will be around our like for in two mark section around two to three question will definitely come and in four marks around seven so in four marks seven to eight question now notice this carefully seven to eight question if we are predicting like not seven to eight just give a general approximation seven question then seven into four around 28 and almost 3 question will definitely come 6 34 so in you will if you are reading your organic organometallic chemistry very nicely or if your concept is clear then in this 34 marks you can at least score around 28 definitely 28 or 24 sorry uh, 28 uh, in this from this 34 part you can easily score 28 marks and when I read this organometallic chemistry in my CSR profession, in exam time, I, I mostly scored. In my case, that 8 question was came from this side and 3 question was came from this side. So, 8 into 4, 32 plus 6, 38 marks was came and almost 33 marks I got only from, or in a row, sorry, that organometallic chemistry. So, now uh, you can get some idea why I am particularly talking about this organometallic chemistry because that can decide your rank. So this is all about uh, organometric chemistry and the book you should follow. Now some of you may have also uh, heard that name of that book that is Ajay Kumar. This is a book for organometric chemistry. Ajay Kumar, you should read this book first. Then I suggest then you should go to read. But uh, means 
I have analyzed some paper from CSI like previous year or uh, like this December also and the June which I gave itself and the previous also. I have not found any question which is outside this book and some direct question will directly came from this book. So I suggest you to go through this to go through this book and if one or two question you will find difficult then that will not go beyond hui. So first you read this at least twice. That is my best suggestion to you. And now when we talk about coordination chemistry, that coordination chemistry is also the second important, most important topic if we talk about inorganic and here is the stats. In coordination chemistry, that two marks question around three to four question they will ask. Okay, and four marks question, two question definitely. So it will also give you around that eight and uh, six, uh, eight and eight, almost around fourteen to sixteen marks from coordination chemistry. Now again, I suggest you to follow the same thing for this coordination chemistry. Ajay Kumar, please follow this book. Once you read this book, then you try to solve this pre uh, previous year question from organometallic chemistry and coordination chemistry then you will definitely got to know that the question will never be outside generally if examiner wants to I mean, set a very different question paper then they may ask you from Hui and some other books like Atkins but generally you will find that 90% of the question they will ask in CSR uh, it is from Ajay Kumar and Ajay Kumar just noted down that what topics you have to read from Ajay Kumar that one is organometric chemistry that is coordination chemistry and the third one is bio organic chemistry that is my personal experience in GATE CSIR in JAM that bio and organic chemistry they will not ask beyond Ajay Kumar I am not telling that uh, this is the only book you have to follow uh, I suggest you to go through some foreign authors also because um, yes they have give, given you that information which is helpful to crack CSIR but I will also suggest you to explore your knowledge and to explore your knowledge uh, you should go to some foreign authors but if you want if you have less time and you want to uh, score good marks or maximum marks then I suggest you to go through Ajay Kumar for these three topics because I already read uh, these three topics from Ajay Kumar and I will not find any question outside from this book so this is my suggestion for you and if I talk about that main group chemistry and B and F block then please go to not in this case I will not recommend that Ajay Kumar so definitely in this case you should follow Hui a straightforward question from Hui will definitely come from this main group elements of DNF block and in DNF block uh, some question were asked about magnetic movement like they will give you some compounds and uh, like they are asking you the magnetic behavior like that they, are, they were asking so from Hui you have to read this uh, two chapter that main group elements and uh, D block and uh, means F block elements lanthanide and ectonoids now if I talk about term symbol then uh, you will find that topic term symbol separately in Ajay Kumar so basically what they are uh, means what is the current trend of CSIR in term symbol they may ask some question like direct question they may ask uh, they give you a uh, like a complex coordination complex they give you and they are asked you the ground state term symbol so a two mark came from that and uh, uh, sorry a two marker came from directly they are asking you the what is the term symbol or ground state term symbol and what they are further asking that they give you uh, means molecular term symbol you have they give you like that O2 and O2 so first you have to write it term symbol and then you have to mention its transition that what will be the allowed transition so for that if you only want to focus on this term symbol then uh, Ajay Kumar is good and you can also uh, go through Hui and for the transition that which transition will be allowed or which transition will not allow that we will make a separate video in which we will discuss all the possible cases which have uh, people asked in CSIR gate uh, not in jam they are people generally not, uh, not asked in jam so that we will make a separate video about all the transition which can be allowed or forbidden uh, including term symbol means in term symbol so these are the things and now uh, sorry I forgot to mention the weightage of main group chemistry so in main group chemistry hmm, right in main group chemistry around uh, 
that two marks question the numbers of two mark question is generally around 2 to 3 and four marks three question they will definitely ask you can also check the previous year data if you are thinking that i am telling that uh, organometallic six cell is coming in 40 for around 40 marks so you can check and you can analyze that how we are making this data and in bio in organic chemistry six marks around generally they will give you six marks and in term symbol also around uh, sorry one two marks uh, two uh, two marker will one question and around one four marker will also come so around these two will six marks six marks this will around uh, how many six and this is 12 around means 14 to 16 and this is also 14 to 16 and this is highest weightage around 35 to 38 you can say so these are the topics we have to first cover for csir and we all know that inorganic part is very easy everyone will focus um, means everyone wants to, everyone should focus on inorganic chemistry because they will not ask difficult difficult question they will uh, talk about only facts so you don't have to uh, means use your concept in that much of way if you know that this is the fact or this is go, this is written in this book and means this is the general experimental thing then you can easily correct your answer so uh, this is all about inorganic part and please like this video share this video so this was the uh, this was all about and sorry one thing i forgot to mention in term symbol also you should focus about I mean people generally ask about organ that organ diagram and uh, from organ diagram they generally ask question about transition so that is again the part of term symbol and we will make a definitely we will make a separate video on term symbol and what are the possible type uh, means which are the possible po questions which people can frame in any entrance exam that we will discuss so stay tuned and this is my uh, best recommendation that please first go through this ajay kumar because now we have almost around two and a half month or three months around so please go through this ajay kumar and read these two and bio organic and then try to solve csa then you will find that how i am means कि मैं कितना सही बोल रहा हूँ ये वाली चीज कि सही में इसमें से कितना वेटेज आता है और एंड हाउ दीज टॉपिक्स एंड दीज बुक पर्टिकुलरली हेल्प मी अलॉट सो दैट आई कैन सिक्योर दिस ए आई फोर्टी सिक्स सो दिस इज माई पर्सनल एक्सपीरियंस एंड आई होप यू लाइक दिस वीडियो एंड वी आर ऑल्सो गोइंग टू मेक अ सेपरेट वीडियो ऑन मीन्स अबाउट फिजिकल एंड ऑर्गेनिक पार्ट दैट वट आर द टॉपिक्स दैट यू शूड प्रिपेयर फर्स्ट फॉर योर सी एस आई ओके सो स्टे ट्यून एंड प्लीज share this video so that maximum people can utilize this strategy and they can score good marks and please subscribe to our channel and share our video thank you